in the show, they didn't so have the car obvious. logos on them. You could tell if they were all about a Decepticon because when they, where, wherever the regular car logo would usually be, there would be like a, um... Uh, I don't see would be, Instead of that, there would be the Autocon, uh, uh, Autobot, it's okay. or Decepticon symbol. Uh, but in the Michael Bay film, they want the product placement there, they want the companies there, so what do they do? They, they keep the car thing there. They, it's simply on the wheel where you see the Autobots and Decepticons. So, and, and there's no other reason to do that except you want the product placement. You want to be able to say, look, it's it's borderline Adam Sandler territory where they just like are holding their product up to the play to the board, and they are, they they do that in the second movie. Like, where it's like, sort of like, hard to be a robot. I wish I had like some nice food to the, eat. Yeah. Let's go to McDonald's. Or yeah, man, fighting all these battles gives me a headache. I'm just gonna drink my Pepto Bismol, and like he and then he drinks, and that's in that's Adam Sandler stuff, dude. But okay, go on with what you were saying about the. E.T. being a wood board, a bit of a sidetrack, I mean, but an important right, sidetrack. Right, important sidetrack. Uh, I mean, why well, don't, don't, these characters, that, that, I actually think that's the biggest problem I have with the first film. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there. They, they are, they they are complete cardboard cutouts. Uh, I don't feel like I've received any development, even on the most, and some of them, not even on a stereotypical basic level. Uh, I think maybe the most we get is, Jazz is the black one. Well, Optimus Prime is the leader. Ironhide likes wants to kill the humans for some reason. No, 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 no. He likes guns. Ratchet is the medical guy. Bumblebee oh. is can't talk. Yeah, Bumblebee can't is talk. Can't like, talk. I, it, <laughs> and, and no, but and it actually gets worse as the movies go on because yeah. there's even less character. It's literally just like they fall out of the sky and they're just like, oh, now there are more Autobots. You see, this one, this one's very, uh, very, very, it's very different easy. though, because those ones all are also racist, and that is gives a lot of character. Getting to that in the second movie, but in in this first one, it's even. I actually, if you're gonna make a point on the Autobots, I think it is a far worse, far worse crime that the Decepticons have no character. I, I actually remember, um, as we were uh, talking about this before uh, we did this recording, we were talking about. What even? We were literally debating what the Decepticons' motivation are. Right. It, it, it should not be debated what the Decepticons' right. actual motivation are. Well, they're, it's such they're a called, simple show. It's such a simple concept. They're called Decepticons. That name alone should prove that this is not going to be a story that has a lot of depth. We should just know they want to either take over the planet or they want to kill the Autobots. We shouldn't be debating amongst each other what the conflict of the movie is. No, yeah, no, and there's no reason why that that has to be the case. It's such a simple concept. It's such a simple, sh simple show. It's the good guys versus the bad guys. I, I, and it's, I don't even understand what the conflict is. I, now, is now, now on, on, unlike you, um, I, I did watch, like, uh, uh, not a lot of Transformers. Um, I, did, I did watch a little bit of it, and what I had noticed was, no, for the most part, Oh, sorry. Uh, it wasn't the most deep show, at least from what I saw. I'm sure there were episodes and, and storylines. Most, most deep. That's great grammar. That's great grammar. I mean. Most deep. All right. Um, it's not the most deep show that you've really... That, that, like, not all the plot lines are really too complex, at least from what I'm seeing. I'm sure there are some storylines out there that, like, like, oh, that was an interesting way that you did that with that character, but <clears throat> at, least the, at least the show had some semblances of Characters like we were talking about this again. Had some conversations before this. Um, yeah, about, we were trying to do it, to save everything for now. But my God, I we, think we, there was so much to say about all three. Of I think we would have had an attack if I had said told someone yeah. about this. So, and you had to watch part of it again. I'm very sorry about yeah. that. By the way, um, <laughs> yeah, I had to watch the second film, that last half of the second film twice, Grayson. and thank you. Uh, third. Don't say half because don't make it as bad as I actually would have. Last. Okay, four, but, but anyway, the point is. Um, it felt. Like, it felt like the. At least, at, I mean, even the most basic of relationships between the Decepticons and what they want is is just completely gone. The the my personal favorite character from the show from when I watched it when I was younger, but not much. I maybe only saw twenty episodes max. Uh, but Starscream's characterization is is just. 
It's not there. Oh, yeah. Megatron's right. not there. Like the, the, Well, Megatron's the, just the bad guy. Starscreen is just, oh, he... Did you... Did, okay, can I ask you... I know about Starscreen. I've wa I did watch... I, I know about Starscreen. Okay, can I, can I ask you this? Yeah. From watching the first movie, did you know that Optimus Prime and Megatron were brothers? No. 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 I it, don't think there's, 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 there's one offhand comment after Megatron dies because... Sam, we, we, could, we haven't even talked about the real main character of this movie yet, which is Shia LaBeouf, and we'll, we'll get to him in a minute, but Megatron, uh, like, when, when he dies from, from Sam awkwardly holding a cube in front of him, which there's no way he even would have known that that would have done anything, but um, it, Optimus is just like, you left me no choice, That's what known, he, he knew it would kill uh, Optimus. Which was really stupid that Optimus didn't say something like, oh yeah, put it in me, I know it'll kill me, but don't put it in the enemy, because that might not make this as fair of a fight. <laughs> like, there's no, like, it's, it's, it's stupid little moments like that that really right. just start to add up, and uh, in, in including all these much larger problems with this terrible story, very, very, well, very and poorly put so this story. And that I they guess, will reuse, that they're very proud right, of, and they will reuse yeah, constantly. There's, there needs to be sequels because it's such a great story that we need to tell it again and again and again. I mean, and well, again. we're assuming again for the fourth movie. Oh, yeah, 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 I guess. Yeah, but honestly, uh, at this point, three times. Do you really think that with the same screenwriter, the same director, do you do you honestly think that they're going to yeah. do something new? I mean, after, the after, they, after they made the over, a, they, they also made be, over a billion dollars last time. Do you honestly think they're going to change anything? Why? Right. And not to mention, the only thing they changed was the cast, and the cast wasn't bad. If there's <laughs> anything. I have to say, the cast was not bad, so they had nope, John yeah. Tortora, who's a fantastic actor. Very good. Shia LaBeouf, I mean, for what he's given, he brings some charisma to some. it. Some. No, he no, I, some I, I, I'm, a, I'm in a minority that I, I like Shia LaBeouf, and I'm, I'm, it's very unfortunate that's the, uh, the, the things that have been happening how, to this, lead, How ridiculous his name is. Yes, Shia, where's the beef LaBeouf is, um, that's actually what his last name translates out to, I'm not even kidding about that. Um, it, he, I, he has a lot of charisma in this first movie, especially. And and while at moments, uh, it is, it's look, it's not his fault. He may maybe he goes a little too far, but he, that's clearly the director's fault that he's going too far in these scenes. But I totally believe him as like as a real kid, at least in the first movie. Well, I, I totally believe him as a real kid, a real guy that is that just wants to have these really basic motivations. Uh, uh, John Turturro is is legitimately has some fun lines. I'm not going to say funny because I don't think I ever laughed in the first movie. Well, um, but I I also good say lines. a lot that, of the cast is is good. They're and, admirable. And that I will even defend Megan the, Fox because I, will too. I think she does the part she was expected that was written for her. Well, was the part good? No. But I will tell you how difficult that is. She is she does not look like a teenager. At all. No. Uh, Malcolm, no, 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 Malcolm McDowell didn't look like a teenager in a Clockwork Orange, but he still managed to give quite possibly the best performance yeah, in the history of cinema. Yeah, but he had a good character. Cinema, still got so. a good character. Yeah, oh my she god, didn't. he had a good character. He got a good character, she didn't. Uh, Megan Fox, but I truly believe she is a teenage girl from a performance. At least a, a, very a shallow, shallow... Very shallow. A very shallow teenage girl from a performance. Um, and yeah, it's a shallow teenage girl, but that's something. I mean, that, that's it is more... Something. Uh, most actresses couldn't even do that, uh, so that so I'll yeah. defend her for that reason uh, because she does exactly what she was given to her. Mm -hmm. Exactly, no, no. And, and you know what that that is true for most of the cast, and and I, I'll give I'll give everybody credit in the movie Shia LaBeouf. He you can really see yeah, he, he is more really, because it is it I think like, this was I, one of his first like major major roles, and what? you can see he is. Really trying in this movie, right. and, and you know what? I don't think yeah. it's of all the, in the first film. In fact, I, I don't think Sam Witwicky really gets irritating <clears throat> to me until really the third more. His parents are the no, no, not even his parents. His mother, his mother. The father irritating. seems like a legitimate, I like nice guy. Like the father is. is he was fine. amusing. I, he, he, I would not say he was funny, but he seemed. He, was funny, he, 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 he was seemed. Funny. He seemed like he was the most genuine. The mother is. Absolutely aggravating in every scene, even in the earlier. It's his bling. It's, it's that kind of lingo that's going to make this movie timeless. <sighs> Forty years from now, we're going to show it to our children and say, "There, that teaches you to break your mother's vase." Much, much like how a lot of the movies in like 
the 60s or 70s and they're like groovy like yeah that hasn't dated much at all um, I use it all the time I, I, I actually my, do I actually do know people that still say groovy yeah. and that's why they're my cinematographer no, no, my uh, choreographer for the musical that for the school's musical that says groovy all the time he's just like okay groovy groovy he's ash for me he'll do too um, he also sa he says a lot there are a lot of uh, things he says that are very amusing um we're getting a little off track here. We're getting um, a little off yeah. track. Um, That's just so, how bad this movie is. We don't want to talk about it. And, and the funny thing is, this is the best of the three. God. Those oh other, God, those yeah. Other, it, it, yeah. But but um, a point that we that I would really like to make at least a couple points. Um, uh, but one of the most important, one of the most well known things about this movie, of course, is the uh, is the effects and the action mm -hmm. and. Um, I think we, I would like us to to save that for last because that is the biggest thing and, yeah. and the most the reason why this movie exists. This movie is not here to bring to light an engaging story or brilliant characters. This movie is well. I think it's very to, brilliant how you see that Jazz is he's black and he's, he's <laughs> say that for this. Well, what do you do? Have, do you have a problem with black people? I don't about you. I do you have a problem? No, no. I, I, I don't have a problem with black people. Um, but two points I would really like to bring up. Um, uh, number one, and this this is going to be a gigantic sticking point with me uh, personally because um, some of my favorite movies ever um, have a soundtrack by Hans Zimmer. Uh, Hans Zimmer, not Hans Zimmer. Uh, Hans, Hans Zimmer, Zimmer. Or Hans Zimmer. I, I'm not, I should know how to pronounce this person. His name is Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. <laughs> Uh, uh, Hans Zimmer, I'll call him Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer's, really, I love Hans Zimmer's score. He has wonderful scores of Lion King, uh, Sherlock Holmes, and my own, uh, uh, Inception, and my own personal favorites would be the Dark Knight, uh, score and the Pirates score. And it is so amazing how much this movie is completely aping the score from both the uh, Batman Begins, because Dark Knight had not come out yet at this point, from both Batman Begins and the Pirates movies. It is amazing how this score almost feels like a student film where they could not come up with their own score and they just took the score from another movie that they liked. The it is it's obnoxious. It is what? really obnoxious. And it's, the soundtrack. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. I mean, yeah. I, I've... I don't think there's, first of all, there's not a single moment